Hello and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to address another question that I get a lot is how to add your voiceover to a PowerPoint and sync that voiceover to the animations in the slides. So that's what we're going to go over today in this video. So the first thing you're going to do is record your voiceover. Now, I know that your PowerPoint is going to have more than one slide, but what I do, and you can do it however you want to, this is the way that I do it. I record all of the slides on one audio file, and then I edit and process it so they all sound uniform and the same. Then I take each of those different slides and separate it into a separate audio file and name it slide one, slide two, slide three, and then keep them all in one folder so they're easy to find later. Now let's get into the next section. Okay, so here is our PowerPoint that we're gonna work on today. And I have a client that gave me permission to use this as a teaching tool today. So for that, thank you very much. This is the intro slide. Now, typically the intro slide might not have any animations to it or anything else going on. But just to be on the safe side, first thing I do is come up to animations and turn on the animation pane. This will show you if there are in fact any animations going on in each slide. So there aren't any, so this should make this one fairly simple. So first thing we're gonna do is go up to insert and insert audio on my PC. Now, as I mentioned before, let me get this to the right, there we go. As I mentioned before, uh, you record your voiceover and you break all of those little um, slide pieces into separate files and keep them in a folder. And this is uh, the client's folder. I did some revisions for him. But first thing I'm going to do is, is grab slide one. Now, if you hover over it, you'll get to see the, uh, the length of the audio file. Now, this one is six seconds long. Keep that in mind. And I will show you why in just a moment. But slide one is six seconds. So I'm going to select this slide and I'm going to select insert. And then this little icon, speaker icon is going to show up here. Now, we don't want this to show in our final presentation. And this PowerPoint, we're actually going to be converting into a video at the end. So I definitely don't want any of these extra icons to show up. So I'm going to go up here to this drop down and instead of in click sequence, I'm going to change it to automatically. And then I also want to hide this during the show. So this little speaker icon will not display in the final presentation. And then the next thing I'm going to do is come over to transitions. And I've already worked on this PowerPoint, so it doesn't show, but automatically it will be on advanced slide on mouse click. Now we don't want it to, there aren't going to be any mouse clicks when this is a video. So we want it to play automatically. Now this will determine when the slide transitions to the next slide. So we want this slide to move to the next slide after the voiceover is complete. Now we've already looked at this slide length and it is six seconds long. So I always add an additional second so that is why this is seven seconds long. I've changed it to transition after seven seconds, if that makes sense. And then we come down to this little timer here. Now this will typically play the voiceover at whatever time you want it to. I want it to play automatically as soon as it starts. So I'm gonna click this little drop down and change it to start with previous, which means it starts as soon as the video starts. So that part is done. Now, I'm also going to add a uh, background music that plays throughout this entire presentation. So I'm going to grab this little speaker and move it over to the side because I'm going to be adding another layer of audio and I don't want them to be confused. You'll see what I mean in a moment. So I'm going to go to insert again, audio from my PC. I'm going to select the music they like and I'm going to insert it. And this will typically play fairly loud. So I'm going to grab the volume and just, just nudge it up a little bit and listen to it. Sounds a little low, so I'm going to tick it up here just a little bit. 
Okay, great. Now that's our background. And then for this one, we want it to also play automatically. So as soon as the slide starts, we also want to hide that speaker icon during the show. And we also want it to play across the slides. And this audio track is much shorter than the final presentation length. So I want to loop this song until the presentation is over. So then your play and background here will highlight as well. So after that, we want to come over to our timer here. And this song, we actually want to start before the voiceover does. So I'm going to move that up to the top. And then I'm also going to select it to start with previous. So the song will technically start first. The voiceover will start right after it or around the same time. That's why I typically like to put about a half a second before or at the head of the voiceover track. So it gives it a little bit of time to get going. Okay, so that is our first slide. So I'm going to come down to another slide that's got some animation so you can see how to do that. Now, this slide has a little bit of animation to it. So as we, let's just play it and see what it does. Okay, we have some text reveal. And then we have a box that lights up here. And another one here. So first I'm going to do is go to insert audio from my PC. and. This is slide 50, so I'm going to go down to 10 seconds long. So I'm going to insert that. First thing, hide and automatically. And then I'm going to take this music track and move it up to just under step one, because I believe, let's just play it and see what happens. Starting from here. Step one, you complete an online questionnaire to evaluate 15... Okay, so it looks like that plays just after. So I'm going to move it up above step one and see what happens. Step one, you complete and... Okay, so none of these animations are going to play until... Let's go start with previous. And then this one, I'm going to go start with previous. So none of these animations are going to play um, without first the voiceover playing. So just to show that... Step one, you complete an online questionnaire to evaluate 15 key functions of your body and get your wife we have our voice over here at the top. Let's play it and see what it does. Step one, you complete an online questionnaire to evaluate 15 key functions of your body and get your WICO score. It's like your FICO for health. Okay, perfect. So in case these are not perfectly timed, you might need to time these animations to your voiceover. When you select one of these animations, it'll show you which one it is because this little box will light up. For instance, if I click on this one, this is this animation, and then this one is this animation. So if you go back and listen to your voiceover, and there's the particular part that that's mentions the 15 key functions, we want this box to highlight during that time. So in order to change the timing of an animation, you always want them to start with previous and then just change the timing as to when the animation starts. So for instance, when I say 15 key functions at around 3.4 seconds, then this box will light up. Same with this animation. This box highlights around the time I say, get your WICO score. And all I did with that was also start with previous and then just change the timing. So when I say get your WICO score at 8.2 seconds, then that's when this box highlights. Now let's watch the whole thing. Step one, you complete an online questionnaire to evaluate 15 key functions of your body and get your WICO score. It's like your FICO for health. Perfect. So that is how you add background music and sync a voiceover to a PowerPoint. So that is how we sync a voiceover and add background music to a PowerPoint or sync a PowerPoint to your voiceover. Either way, I hope that helps you out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and send me some comments and all that fun stuff because as you know, that helps me and my channel. Thank you so much and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.